Fitzgerald from PAX World at the AIBC Summit in the Americas in Toronto this year, and we're very excited to have you here. So tell us about PAX World. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, I'll just take this. Uh, yeah, so PAX World's an open metaverse that we've actually created uh, where we are bringing in real world architects to actually develop our first Meta Sarai, which is based off of the Caravan Sarai of the old Silk Road. And these are the towns and uh, areas where people traded, built commerce, and we have a full Zoom style video chat system uh, that allows people to interact and bump into others, much like we're here at this conference. But most importantly, we have ability to actually create your own metaverse or your areas where you can portal into, and you can either use our templated worlds or you can build your own. So to give people a picture of what this looks like, you are walking around as an avatar and you can walk into your building and you can sit down at the conference table and see the actual video of the person you're talked to and then see their avatar as well. Yeah, exactly. We wanted to create that bump into factor, right? And it's one of the reasons why I started this five years ago is I used to build or be in these conferences and events and I never came here for the speakers. I came here for the people around me. And I closed some of my biggest deals by just overhearing that conversation in a booth, right? And so that I wanted to replicate that experience of, you know, that you really don't find in these webinars and whatnot. So what we're doing is being able to put your own face on with one picture and then be able to walk up to someone and actually talk or like immediately start chatting with them. But of course, the best part my wife says always is she's an introvert and she loves the fact that she can walk away from a conversation, which you can't do on all these other things. And so the metaverse is a hot topic, right? Everybody is building a metaverse. So what makes your metaverse really unique? Well, I think we, the, one of the biggest things is our ability to have it accessible to everyone. So we build our, our metaverse so that it's accessible on a $300 Chromebook or like an iPhone 8, right? Um, and I think that's one of the biggest things missing in a lot of these metaverses where they're building super high-end graphics and everything. And we're not that blocky architecture that you see in some other metaverses. Um, but we've actually developed our own technology from a networking perspective and a graphics perspective that allows anyone, even in a corporate network, to actually get in and participate in these conversations. Because one of the things that we learned very early on is if you have 20 people in a community and you can't get one of those people in, no one joins. So, you know, doing this for so long, we, we got to learn all the social aspects of the metaverse very early on running events for the past two years. And so I want to know what your impression of the AIBC America Summit is and what you see as trends in this industry. Well, we love the AIBC group because we won Metaverse of the Year in Dubai, of course. They didn't have that award again here because they, they only give it away once. Uh, but no, we absolutely love the event. It's great with all the people here. I mean, I've made a million contacts already only being here, I don't know, 24 hours. Um, and the, uh, you know, just the general consensus of everyone coming together in the blockchain, that it's all sitting there trying to lift each other up as a whole. I think it's just such a unique experience coming from classical finance where everyone's competing with everyone else. And in this space, everyone is just trying to figure out how we can work together to bring this whole thing up to the next level. And I, I just love that mentality. Well, thank you so much, Frank. I really appreciate you taking the time.